My name is Ian Harnrein. Uh, I'm a filmmaker. I also teach. I teach uh, sound recording for film at NYU, and I also teach in their physics department too. Um, I was born and raised in Toronto. My parents are Trinidadian. Um, my film, it's a short film called Doubles with Slight Pepper, um, and I made it as you know as my thesis film at NYU. We premiered in Toronto 2011. We won the Best Short Award there, which was you know a dream come true because that was you know it's my hometown festival. Um, it was chosen as one of the best Canadian shorts of the year. It won the Canadian Academy Award um, last year in 2012 for, um, you know, for the film. Um, we got to go to, to Cannes, to screen in Cannes, as part of a bunch of other you know, Canadian short films. Um, within the Caribbean, we just premiered it a couple of months ago at the Trinidad and Tobago Film Festival in, um, at the end of September. Uh, and that was you know, a true homecoming for the film. It was amazing because the cast and crew were there. It meant a lot to everyone involved in the project to actually finally screen it there. But it's, it's screened throughout the Caribbean and Barbados and the Bahamas and, and stuff like that. And it's been, uh, you know, it's been, it's received incredibly well by everyone, which is very reassuring to me. Even after the film um, sort of went, got all these accolades, it still really was still relatively unknown. Um, and actually, yeah, like the, the New York Times article that was written about me in the film, you know, focused on that and the, the problems of getting the film seen within the community, even though it really is, you know, of the community. So I think I, I sort of have a, a love-hate relationship with the, with the diaspora in New York, um, but that's changing, you know, more towards the love side. Um, when I was trying to get the film made, it, uh, it was really tough within, in New York, like whether it be casting or even fundraising, um, it's really difficult because there's very few people I feel like the community in, in New York really isn't aware of you know, films that are being made in the Caribbean just because they're very rare. Um, and if they do see them, they're usually pretty bad. And so I think people in general are very suspicious and um, not sure of, or just don't know about projects that are being done. Um, and so for me, it was really hard to get the film, uh, get the support of the, you know, the, of the Caribbean community in New York uh, as I was making the film. One of the problems is finding that audience and motivating people to support it. Um, because like I said, like me growing up especially, and I think even to this day, it's really hard to see representations of yourself um, in, in the media and in art. And it's not encouraged among, um, amongst people. Like for the most part, I would say, most Caribbean people within New York are a sort of working class community. And there really is no time, you know, for art or going downtown to see a movie or going to an art gallery or going to the museum or whatever the case is. This is where, I, I mean, I live here and so I feel like I know a little bit of the community and it would be great for those people to see to see my work. And so through, you know, my own research, I came upon Caribbean and, you know, it was legit and it was like a legitimate audience to screen for um, and like a legitimate theater and everything. So that's, been amazing. It's been able to see the community come out and get, you know, sort of get an understanding of the film that, you know, the, the other audience or the more broader audience doesn't really appreciate, you know, whether it be the music or some of the slang terms and things like that. A lot of the themes that people may not pick up on um, and some of the sly critiques that I make within the film uh, to the broader audience that they don't appreciate are sort of appreciated and understood by the Caribbean community. And to me, that's, that's really fulfilling. Um, and to sort of to know that people understand the level that I was, you know, reaching at. And so I think it's, like I said, it's, it's really difficult to, you know, to get the audience and to mobilize that audience to come and support the film, um, or even like the visual arts on a whole. Um, and I think that's one of, the, one of the great things about Caribbean is that they are, you know, it's a primarily a Caribbean audience. Um, and I think that's incredibly important because those are the people um, that, you know, should be primarily interested in the work. Um, and that do want to support it. And at the same time, it's like that it exposes them and they do see it and they get really excited about it. Um, and, and that's excellent. That's the way it should be.